Hello everybody and welcome back to these short computer trainings. Uh, today we decided to talk a little bit about Apple security features. Well, the one that matter at least and the, one, the ones you can actually control. First of all, we do believe that uh, OS X is more secure than other operating systems for a variety of reasons. First of all, there is no known widespread virus or malware designed for OS X. Of course, part of this is because of the small market share that Apple has its hands on. So a hacker will not go through the trouble of designing a virus that will not be able to influence that many systems, right? Even though there are a lot. But also, the way OS X security is designed plays a huge role on this as well. Okay, so let's talk about some features that we are very fond of. First one is file security, right? A virus, even if it breaches your Mac, will be able theoretically to delete or modify all your files. Thank you, Time Machine. <laughs> uh, thank Apple for the Time Machine for that. But it won't be able to touch your system files, right? For example, if... Um, let's go to... Uh, system, right? We're gonna go to System. Let's hold on a second, Command. <coughs> For example, let's say an application file, right? We'll go to iTunes, let's see. Show package contents. And let's get a... Um, uh, let's see, let's find the file. This one, for example. Right? If you want to modify this one, let's delete. There you go. You cannot modify this file. Even you as an, as an administrator, you're going to have to um, unlock it and provide your password, right? If you don't unlock it, nothing's gonna happen, it's not gonna get modified. The same with the system files and the same with uh, the files for the applications and so far and so forth. So um, all the system files and all the application files are actually protected even if a virus breaches in your computer. Um, another uh, another feature that we talked about already is the um, secure empty trash, right? Which is right here, empty securely. What this does, when when you send files to trash, we discussed this before. The files don't actually get deleted. The files get marked for deletion, right? Even after you empty your trash, your files still don't get deleted, right? And they are marked for deletion, and the the space where they are stored is marked as free space. The files get deleted only when you actually write the file on that spot on the on the hard drive, right? So if you use this function empty securely, what's going to happen is uh, Finder is going to actually delete the files and then write random bits in those locations, so so the file get actually wiped from your hard drive. Uh, more, even more, uh, disk utility has an option. Open up disk utility has an option we can find right here. Erase. There you go, erase free space, right? This option right here can be tuned to maximum security, which means your Mac is gonna erase all your free space, all the files that are in the space that is marked uh, is marked as free and it will write seven times seven times so you can do it three times one time or seven times right seven times seven consecutive times is going to write uh, random bits on those locations seven times is is actually um writing seven times on those on those locations it's uh, meets meets the department of defense 522022m standard so that's a very very high standard uh, of uh, file security so nobody with any hard drive sweeper program will be able to um, actually find those files after you delete them so if you work with very sensitive data that's going to be the option you should choose all right the last the last option the last security option we're going to talk about today is going to be safari Pri private browsing, right? You can enable that from here, Safari, private browsing, right? When you enable that, you'll be able to um, browse the internet without leaving any um, digital um, print on your computer. 
Remember that's that that doesn't mean that you will not gonna leave a digital print on the server you're querying, right? You you cannot stop that. But on your computer, nothing will be remembered. Passwords, usernames, pages you you visited, and so far and so forth. So if you wanna visit pages, or if you share your computer with other users and you wanna visit pages and put your username and password and so far and so forth, let's say a bank or whatever website you're visiting, this would be the option for you to use. So no digital data will be left behind okay thank you guys for watching uh, i hope you like the videos if you do don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to visit our blog watermark at the bottom of the video thank you